What's up YouTube? This is your boy Douglas M again. And right now I'm going to go over um, my uh, universal wireless Ethernet adapter. Um, it's called a Netgear WNCE 2001. And this is, this is an Ethernet to wireless adapter, basically. That's the best way uh, to describe it. Um, and I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about it. And I'm surprised like companies are not really pushing stuff like this because it, it's so needed in, you know, today's home uh, living room setups and so forth. For example, um, you would need this if like, say, for instance, take me, for example, my wireless um, router and my uh, Time Warner router um, is up in my bedroom because I work from home. Uh, and so that's out of my bedroom. So obviously well where you're looking at is my living room which is downstairs so there's no way um, no easy way that I can run a cable all the way from my um, router upstairs to down in the living room downstairs that's it's I, I couldn't even see it maybe when the house was built that it would be easy but right now that is close to impossible or very expensive to do which no one's gonna pay for so this is where this comes in um, because what it does is it grabs your Wi-Fi connection and then it has an Ethernet part on the back. Um, I don't know if you can really see it. It has an Ethernet to the back. So it grabs your Wi-Fi connection, then you take the Ethernet and plug it into whatever you need to plug it into to, um, to make it work. Whether it be a single device um, or a router. So I'm going to touch on that really quick. The, I have a refurbished one. Um, so I paid about 30 bucks for it. But I think brand new is like 40 to 50 bucks. I know on Amazon, you can get it on eBay. You can get, I think they sell it outright at Walmart. Okay. Just to, to, to give you a, a quick pricing example. Um, but again, you would need this again if you needed in. The reason why, okay, well, the reason why I got it is my receiver, uh, my home, uh, my surround sound receiver is a network receiver, but it doesn't have Wi-Fi and it doesn't, Yamaha did not provide or make available a dongle. You know, that's one of those Wi-Fi uh, ad ad uh, like adapters specific to that company's unit that will, will make you run Wi-Fi. Um, for that device. Well, they didn't, they didn't make that. So I had to find a way to get internet connection to my device. And so this is the cheapest and easiest way to do that. So that, that's why you would get it. Now, a couple things about this I'll talk about. Um, cool thing about it is it comes with two connections. It comes with a USB powered cord, meaning you can plug it in and get power via USB, which I don't recommend. Or you can get, um, you can use the, the plug. It would be like a USB or no, it would be like a, just a plug. One end is a plug and one end is like this piece right here. Um, you know, it plugs right into the device. So yeah, I would recommend you doing that. And basically w how it works is you're going to take, when you, when you first get the unit, you're going to use the USB piece and plug it into your computer and right away the Netgear screen should come up. If it doesn't then you have a problem. I had a problem with that. I had to hook it up to my Google TV um, and it worked right away. I, th I think my laptop and my desktop had some viruses in the past and it might have you know gave me a problem with that prompt coming up when I hooked it up to the USB on my desktop and my laptop. I don't know what happened there. But when I hooked it up to my uh, Google TV via USB, um, the Netgear prompt came up and I configured the Wi-Fi because that's what you first have to do. A lot of people don't know that. I don't know why, but you have to configure this. You have to hook it up to your computer and you have to hook it up to your Wi-Fi. So you're going to need to know A, your router's um, name and password. Like for instance, or it might be default, I don't know. You would have to find that out before you do this, before you set this up. So for instance, I have a Linksys router and um, it has a default 
you know, it has a default uh, username and password. And, um, and it's just default. You can find that out online if you Google it. But if you renamed yours, um, then definitely, you know, make sure you find out what that is because you're going to need that. You're going to need the username, uh, I mean, the, um, the name of your router and the password. You're definitely going to need that. And once you hook that up, it, it actually locks into your Wi-Fi. So every time you plug it in, which I'll show you in a minute, it will connect to your Wi-Fi. And so what you do with that, you can do two choices. You have two choices. You can actually hook that into a um, the device itself, or you can hook the Ethernet cable, which is here. This is what I'm talking about. You can hook the Ethernet cable um, into a device, or you can hook it up into a router. Now, I hooked mine up to a router, and it worked right away. I didn't even configure the router. I just hooked it after I configured the the Netgear piece, I hooked it, I hooked it had the Wi-Fi. And actually, let me show you. This right here is the power button, that first button. The middle button is LAN. That means I have an Ethernet hooked in to something, right? And then the last shows that I have Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna actually plug it out. I'm gonna plug Plug, pl plug the power out and plug it back in so to show you how and I'll plug the LAN out just so you can see it Let's see if I got an angle here just so you can see it um, come on so it may take some time but that's how it looks with just the power light on so um, actually let me go ahead and hit reset um, what is it? Yeah, you see it going there. So now it's looking for my Wi-Fi connection. It takes a while. Um, it, it doesn't come on right away. It could take up to two minutes, actually. And I definitely recommend you using the plug because with the USB, it loses connection too much. Um, I And it could be because I have a refurbished one. So I don't know. But um, also, too, I wouldn't really... Now, the great thing about this is it's a universal adapter, so it will work with anything. It doesn't give a crap what you're trying to hook up. If it has an Ethernet, whether it's an Apple product, a Sony product, a Samsung product, it doesn't give a crap. It will, it will feed it Internet. Okay? So, but, I mean, if I'm gaming, I don't know if I would use this. You know what I'm saying? Like on my Xbox or... Because... Let's say on my receiver, it has Pandora on it, and I use that for that in Sirius uh, XM radio. And if I'm listening to it for like, say, maybe three hours, it would give out. Sometimes. After a while, like two, three hours. So, you know, if you're gaming, and I don't know, it could be because mine is a refurbished. So, but I don't usually listen to the radio that long, so that's not a problem. But it does happen from time to time. I would on the scale like I would say if I if I'm running Pandora on my receiver uh, 10 times for two hours straight it would happen twice so eight out of ten um, no two out of ten times um, it would mess up so gaming I don't know but maybe uh, check the reviews on Amazon and stuff because maybe when you um, you know when you use when you, you when you get a, a new one instead of a refurbished one or maybe a different refurbished one than I got maybe it's just my luck it might work better so I can't talk to that because I don't have a new one okay so other than that uh, let, what else do I need to talk to talk to you about on this um, of course it's compatible with Windows 7 Vista XP 2000 Mac or Linux okay and um, and that's that's really about it but again you would the reason why you would use this is if you have a device that doesn't have Wi-Fi and doesn't have a dongle um, or if you just wanted to have one device that hooks up to a, a second um, router in this lo in your location and that feeds the internet so you can you can just feed different items like what I have now I, I put it to my router 
And now I, I give my TV internet and my receiver internet. Even though my TV is Wi-Fi, I would rather have it Ethernet because it's just stable. And, you know, it's not interfering, taking away from my, my Wi-Fi and my other devices in the house. Um, so that's it. We're still waiting here um, on it to get connection. Um, so we're just going to wait on that there and um, see when that comes there. All right, there it is, finally. Um, we got the uh, Wi-Fi connection, as you see right there. Um, that's uh, steady green light. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up my um, the Ethernet cable, Cat5. And then you should see the middle light come on. And that means that it is feeding my router internet, my, wi uh, my wired router or wireless, it doesn't matter. Um, so that's about it guys. I will have a part two video uh, because I, I am having some issues um, with uh, using apps and um, yeah apps for my phone and tablets to uh, to uh, interact with my devices hooked up like my receiver and my TV. It looks like um, the IP address is having some issues. Um, being, uh, you know, going through my router and using these apps on my phone, it's not connecting that way. Um, so I'm going to have a part two video when I figure that out, um, how to properly connect this device to your router so that when you use these apps on your phone and tablet, it would recognize your router and you'll be able to use it. Because right now, um, I'm not able to do that. If you guys may know how to do that, just definitely put it in the comments. Or if that's able to be done, I don't know. But um, I have a guy that's real good with computers. One of my buddies, he's gonna come down and um, one of these uh, one of these one of these days that I'm off, he's gonna come up and, and check it out and um, go back into the diagnostics and and see. Because like I said, I I just I just hooked this piece up with my com uh, to my computer, you know, hooked up the Wi-Fi, made it find, you know, my username and all that stuff and hooked it up. Once it got the Wi-Fi signal, I just, I bought a cheap router <laughs> from the computer store for like 20 bucks. And um, let me see if I, I'll show you the router. Give me one second here. Yeah, there it goes. A cheap little $20 router um, that, uh, you know that I got from the computer store for like 20 bucks there's proof right there that it's getting internet um, and when I turn let's see let me turn on my receiver I'll show you guys to proof that it's getting uh, internet and let me turn on my TV where's my remote oh you see one light just came on and let me turn on my TV where is that device there's so many daggone remotes over here. Alright, so I'm going to turn on my TV. And so you should see. So there you go. Right there is proof. You got one. That's my TV. And two. That's my receiver. Let's see. That's proof that this thing right here is giving it internet. So yeah. So that's about it, guys. And again, I'm going to have a part two. Um, of this explaining how or what I didn't do to get this to really connect to your network so you can interact with it with apps and uh, for your tabs and your phones and stuff like that which really isn't a big deal as long as I mean it does feed the internet to these devices effortlessly and um, it's pretty cool I like that part um, and that's really what I got it for but it would be nice to to use these apps and stuff like that um, with it. But I'll have a part two on that. Let me stop rambling. Anyway, it's your boy Douglas M. I'm going to turn these items off so you can see them power off as well. Um, see the lights go away. It's proof I just turned off my TV, turned off the receiver. And it should be back to, yeah, just the, the WLAN light on. All right. Well, it's your boy, Douglas Sam. Remember to subscribe, hit like if you like it. And um, I'll be back with more videos, of course, later.